Oh, we'll get here and in this video I'm going to be taking a look at the HTC One M8 and the TV remote control app that you get pre-installed on the phone so we're going to be taking a look at that and how it works um, you can see at the top right here you've got like a little um, kind of chrome black bar at the top the IO Blast is in there as well the design of it looks very nice we're just going to see how um, the app looks and how it works so you got the TV app there when you first uh, set it up it's going to ask you for your postcode and stuff like that all we have to do is enter it in and then next, focus in a little bit, and we've got this little remote icon there, you're going to tap it and it's going to go through this up. So it's just saying, you start it up, and you pick whether you're setting up a TV, cable box, let's focus focusing a bit better, or home theater, so it's setting up a TV. Then you search for your brand next, I've got LG, so it might be a little bit difficult for you to see. Um, it's turned off, and then what you do is just tap it and t turn it on straight away it turns on just fine and then it asks you if you t if it turned on after it's turned on you just click yes and then setup is complete you can start watching TV and using this as your remote so now you can see it better this is the main interface you got the volume rocker right here you can see how responsive it is it's almost instantly you could change channels Let's go back down. You got the controls here to navigate the menu. You got your menu button right up here, so you can tap there and it opens up the menu. You can see it in the background, more or less instantly. You can press the exit button. You can mute it. Um, you got the play, um, rewind, record. If your TV has these features, you can use it. My OG TV doesn't. Uh, you can swipe across and you get a number pad. So if you wanted a specific channel, you could just press one and enter, and it goes directly to the channel. Or you could go back to um, whatever channel you want, easy to navigate. You can press OK, um, jump. If you go across again, there's more. So maybe if you're in the US and you have like a satellite box, you might have more features there. I'm not sure about that. If you scroll across all the way over here, you got the um, button here to turn your TV on and off. And you got input button, which is really handy because other TV or remote applications, like the one on the Samsung or ones that you can get off the market, don't have that input button, which is kind of useful when you're switching between your gaming consoles or other devices you have plugged in. So that's pretty uh, useful. Uh, we could come out of import now, go back and exit, and it comes back to the TV. And this is just a quick tour of what the TV remote application looks like for your HTC One. It's pretty good. I love the layout of it. There's a lot of features and there's a lot of stuff that you could do with it. And you can see it's my TV up there. If you really wanted to, you could go into um, settings, add remove. This is the one I've added. So you can um, do 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 do. You could rename it if you want to. So, say if this is your bedroom, you can name it bedroom. You could have one for your hall, uh, maybe one for work if you want to mess about with their TV at work. You know, anything like that. So, this this remote application is very good, fully featured. It's got everything you would need to, you know, to have on your remote and to use and everything like that. So that's pretty good. And yeah, this is just a quick look at the remote application on a. Um, HTC One M8. Leave your comments in the comment section down below. Tell me what you think. Do you like it? Um, do you like the layout of it? Um, have you tried it? Leave all that good stuff in the comment section down below. If you like the video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you want to see more. And thanks for watching. Peace.